Hello. This will be a short video about my mobile carport. And um, so if you're curious about it, uh, I built this using or repurposing the front sign that was uh, over on my business door. Uh, basically cut the thing in half, um, turned it where the bottom edges were against each other and bolted it back together again so uh, that's the frame of it and then there are some corrugated metal panels on top and on the sides uh, where it has that gray wood look that used to be a swimming pool <laughs> so it's a little bit of repurposing going on there so I built the thing to give myself a portable shade, but most of the time it sits over the top of my dilapidating uh, E2 trailer. Um, the top of this is, is just rotten. Um, this is, is on rollers. I usually keep it weighted down. Uh, one one weight on each side and that uh, once the once the wheels are locked in place the weights seem to hold it pretty well I hadn't had an issue with it flying off yet um, you can see the camper top is pitiful and I have been needing a way to protect it I finally got that but even more than that, I need to get the top off so I can do repairs. Uh, you know, it's not all that heavy, but it is rather large. And since I have to do, you know, if I'm going to do a project, I have to plan on how to do it myself. So I had to rig up a little system. And uh, let, me, let me move the thing out. And I'll give you a better look at what the system lift system looks like. I'm not the only one that takes on big projects. Uh, my son is a military mechanic, and uh, this is his baby. Uh, although priorities have changed a bit, and we're looking at more of selling this so he can get the uh, vehicle of his dreams. Now this is this is about ten thousand dollars worth of motor, and uh, so it's a, a six point three liter Chevy three eighty three stroker. It used to be a four bolt main Chevy uh, three fifty, but it's been bored out to three eighty three. But it's got tons of things that have been added to it. It's just a beast. Um, it's kind of a racing motor, so I don't expect to get good gas mileage out of it unless you want to put like a one cylinder or one barrel carburetor on it, but I don't think it would run that way. Um, but if you're interested, uh, leave a, a message for me and I'll pass it on to my son. He's, uh, like I said, he's military. He's gonna be away for three weeks or so overseas on one of his little adventures. So um, uh, let me know and I'll pass it on. All right, here's the underbelly of it. Now I've got these uh, boards on here that these will run directly underneath the camper top so the the top will rest on the boards and then I lift it up and then I can move the move the canopy off the top of the camper I roll it out and then set it down so we got uh, I took this off of my do-it-yourself boom crane and these boards are also from the do-it-yourself boom crane um, so that no more do it your no more boom crane it's gone um, so you've got this is the uh, 
separator so you got little little bearings little rollers to go off to each corner so so that way this this little network of uh, of ropes all moves at the same time and that allows the boards to come down too so um, let's uh, see how far it goes and So that takes it pretty close to the ground and I should be able to set the top onto, uh, uh, onto a, a two or three or four, <laughs> probably four sawhorses. And then once it's on the sawhorses, I can move the canopy out of the way, uh, lift up one side of the, of the camper top, set it on the ground now eventually the idea is to turn the thing over I need to be able to get to the underside of that so I can scrape it out real good uh, and find a way to repair it I got to be able to fix this thing because uh, this just won't work that is a quarter inch thick no no it's a it's a half inch thick styrofoam sandwiched between an eighth inch thick plywood or paneling and then over the top of that is aluminum that isn't stuck let's see can you see that so the aluminum is turned loose from the styrofoam on top and the wood paneling is rotted underneath it uh, it used to have an air conditioner on it. It came with an air conditioner, but the a half inch of styrofoam will not hold an 80 pound air conditioner. It only took it, oh, about a month of Texas heat to make the first air conditioner fall into the camper. Well, it didn't fall all the way, but it sank where if it rained, water would pool around it and then seep inside i took it back replaced the top under warranty and they did it again and it did it again so all the years that i've had this thing i have never been able to take it out and use it because the top is just pitiful and i've got to fix that and that will be in future videos let's see uh see if we can't put this back up there or move this back to where it belongs and uh put the boards underneath it and we'll lift the top on the camper to see what it looks like okay
Okay, we're all connected up now. Uh, yep, connected up. Not quite sure how to do this yet because I haven't done it before. I think I have to lower the post. They're already undone. like the, the post won't lower because there's no weight so I have to reach in and do that myself Since the winch is upside down, I made it left handed, and I am not a left handed person. And this is one issue I may have to figure out is the handle bumps into the top now. If that's enough, we'll find out. Yeah, the post can be lowered down a, a little bit more. All four sides. Uh, all four corners, it is. So, yeah. Top is just hanging on the ropes. So, that's what it's supposed to do. I have to lower the post a little bit more to be able to, to move the, the canopy and the top out of this position. And you can see now I added some braces on that just to keep the top up after I took the air conditioner out and I put in that uh, vent but you can see how dilapidated the top is I have had it off or had it up enough where I could peel out a lot of the wet rotten stuff and the canopy is doing a pretty good job about keeping it dry so at least we're not worried about fungus right now it's just going to be a lot of work to strip all of that out and replace it or replace the whole top with something else or reconstruct the top that I have. Oh, it's nasty. It's going to be a big job. And once I get started on it, I will probably upload progress. But uh, anyway. That's how I'm going to do it. So, thanks for watching. Y'all take care until next time.